Welcome everyone. Welcome to Thrift to Thrift For. A channel that's hopefully going to be about thrifting, reselling, yard selling, and even some arts and crafts. My name's Nathan. My wife's name is Kimberly. And together we've just been recently selling on Poshmark and just started reselling on eBay. Uh... A little about us is that we're from New England. We lived in Vermont. Um, my wife was a stitcher by trade. Um, I, I guess by trade, I was a plumber's helper, then a journeyman's plumber. Um, metal fabrication, also in there, uh, with a few odd jobs here and there. Um, so that's what we've done. <clears throat> a few months ago, well, Almost six months ago, we moved from Vermont to Las Vegas, hoping that the weather would be nicer and everything would work out a little better. Unseen circumstances brought us back to New England. We got back about three weeks ago. Today is March 24th, um, 2020. Um, so, things in the back. That's where our, our posh resell thrifting area is starting um still doing a bunch of organizing like i said we just moved here um we just had seven and a half eight inches of snowfall last night so um that's a little bit about us we uh started looking into the reselling i've um, been thinking about it for a while and we got started reselling on posh Oh, end of December. Um, and we just started doing eBay last week. Um, me and my wife used to sell on eBay years and years ago, like 15 years ago, of some crafts stuff that we used to do. But we're getting in more into the thrifting, the reselling, the finding bargains, sending them off to the folks that looking for bargains. <clears throat> Um, and when we got started, we started watching a bunch of videos on YouTube. Um, I guess, I don't know if it's okay, but I'm going to drop some names or channels. Uh, we started watching, uh, Cincinnati Picker, Empty Hangers, uh, Thrift Store Gold, Rally Roots, um, Nicole Slate, Sydney, can't, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Um, and there's many more. And so I've always done some live videos, whether it be with gardening or just trying to show people around when we lived in Vegas. So I figured I'd give YouTube a try because all these other people have inspired us to do this. And I want to be able to go video or actually thrifting. Now, when we were in Las Vegas, we had a lot of thrift stores to choose from. Um, we also had some what they call a bins where you shop by the pound. I notice a lot of bin shopping on YouTube. They're allowed to film in a lot of places. Down in Vegas, there's no filming. Um, they're really small ones too. But yeah, no, no filming down in the bins down there. Um, so this is my first shot at a YouTube video. I'm hoping that I'll be able to put out enough comment. Comment content to uh keep things going i'm probably not going to start doing much for uh editing until i get a little more knowledge of what's going on here other than that we have like we ha like i said i've only been back here three weeks the goodwills are an hour and a half away from where we are right now there is some local thrift stores um there's a salvation army 20 minutes away so but when we were down in Vegas, we were able to thrift enough stuff that a bunch of it came back that's not listed on our platforms yet. Um, we did a, one last short, small haul um, in Las Vegas the Saturday before we left. So I was going to show you a few of the things that we did get at the last minute. They're mostly shoes or some jewelries. We've acquired a few things. Um, so at the end of this, 
if you'd like to see me try to make more content um if you know you like what you see or if you think you can help subscribe give me a thumbs up and hit the notification button and i'll uh that way you get notified when i put a new video out i'm going to try to do once a week until garage sales and thrifting starts probably the stuff that i'm getting ready to put on i'm going to show you what we thrifted down there um there's going to be some arts and crafts stuffs put on and probably shown on this video i make things out of pallet wood um reclaimed objects my wife she sews um so and she looms knits i do some resin epoxy work i do some acrylic paintings i do some painting pours so there's going to be a wide range of things on this channel and then if everything works out i'll split the two channels but other than that most of the stuff's going to go on here so it's mainly going to be for thrifting and resale purposes but there will be some craft stuff thrown on here every now and then so uh, let's see i think other than that, unless I can think of something else, oh yeah, I'll put the link, like I think, the link to our uh, eBay and our Poshmark down in the descriptions below. Um, so, let's get started. So, uh, let's start down here. Right now, it's a bunch of shoes and a couple bracelets and a pin. But one of the items I got that are in really good condition are these pair of adidas um red white black uh, size what they say these were these are size eight um they do have some staining around the soles try to scrub those clean those the leather and the um rawhide the suede part is in really great shape Laces are in good condition. They're worn, but worn very, not very frequently, I don't think. The back of the heels look really great. The insoles are good. Check the numbers. They are uh, authentic. They're not any bogus Adidas. So those are on eBay. Everything I'm showing you today is probably on eBay. Um, I'll probably flop back and forth between the two. I'm not going to try to uh, cross list because I don't want to get confused. Things start selling and things start going so yeah they uh nice pair of adidas here um next actually i'll show the pin that we got here let me open this up we got this down in vegas it's a uh let's see if you can hopefully read all that The limited edition Sturgis jewelry. Jewelry is signed and numbered. That's all on the back, stamped in. It has a copyright date, that's stamped in. The number, um, this, in the series that this is, out of 70 of them, this is 69 out of 70. That's stamped in the back. Dennis Cope is the creator or the crafter to this. Um, it's a 1999 Sturgis pin eagle um like i said it is stamped in the back so this is a nice vintage piece any motorcycle riders or people that just collect pins and patches for whether it be sturgis or motorcycles that'd make a nice item for them oh, let's see let's go back <clears throat> got these uh pair of Merrells, women's Size, I believe we've talked about this. It was eight and a half, right? Yeah, I believe it's eight and a half. I don't think that's six and a half. No, they're eight and a half. Um, I believe these are called Mary Jane style. Um, the soles look really, really well. Very little wear on the soles. Um, the insides are still in great condition. Even the back of the heel is not worn through. Um, still got elasticity. That's not broke. Nothing's come apart. A few scuff marks in the back of the heel itself. Some on the toe. But still a lot, a lot of life left in these. Very nice. These were a nice find down there. 
We got these uh, Vince Komoto. Um, God, I wish I could remember the name off the top. I'm not very prepared. That's one thing is I guess I'll be learning. Is that uh, it's a cage style sandal they call it with a heck of a heel. You can see the soles are still in really good condition. Um, the comps showed really well for these, especially for the price that we got. Open toe. There's really nothing wrong with even the buckles and the clasp are still in really great condition. We got a pair of American Eagle red slip-on wedges. Um, cleaned up the soles. They have a felt sole to them on the very bottom. Clean them up a little bit. The white, that don't want to come off. But uh, they're still in really great condition. There's a little bit of spot here or something that you can place on the inner sole. But as you can see, there's still a lot of wear left in them. There's not really any foot or toe imprints on the inside. So those are on eBay. Um... Oh, this is a, a bracelet. It's a pewter bracelet, pewter and leather. It's a, it says made in the USA with an OK. Can't remember what state OK would be if there's even one with that initial, but hopefully I don't know if it's going to zoom correctly or not. And then that's the actual other side. It's flexible. They're all pewter pieces. There's some weight to it. It's by a company called Courage USA. There's the little thing there. Little buckle clasp. Has a little indent from where it was put together for a while. Little paint. That'll be going on shortly. We got a lot of things to post. Um, just trying to get everything, find all of our stuff. and took a little while. But we also got this cool, definitely handmade bracelet formed it's all folded metal formed copper stainless steel there is somebody's markings on the inside but this is see the nice hammer marks in the copper fold over the metal this is done really nice looks like it's a 2JJ2 for an encryption or it's engraved with somebody's craftsman's markings. So that's on there. That was a nice find. Like I said, um, new to this, any constructive criticism on <clears throat> making the YouTube video, things that you might want to see, questions you might want to have, I'll try to answer the questions um, as I can. Uh, again, if you'd like to see me do some more of this on this video, Give me a subscribe, thumbs up, and a like. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, everybody have themselves a wonderful day. Stay safe.